Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Common Sense. Europa Universalis 4 as England. The, uh, the house of, what do we pick? York, I think. Yes, Richard III, Richard III of York, a 5-6-0. Much better. We just gained 11 monarch points a month, which is amazing. Um, we're going to want to solve the over the relationship limit problem soon. Oh, actually we can. We just cancel the military access with Navarra. Don't actually need that, do we? So that's good. That puts us at 4 out of 4. We lost a relationship. Who was that? We got up to six at one point. We had the military access through Brittany. We had the alliance with, um... Oh, it was the alliance with Austria. And then we are at war with them. They're friendly with us while we're at war. Makes sense. We don't even want to be enemies. I mean, Austria, just, you know, just surrender. The rebels have, have sought foreign... Ooh have sought foreign support for the revolt and have managed to convince France to aid them with some troops. What a bastard. Indeed, how dare they? They're going to join up in La Borde. That makes sense. Well, actually, I mean, kind of. Well, I guess we're going to fight down here. So, they have 3.21 morale. They have more morale than we do. Same prestige, or sorry, same same tactics. A 0-1 leader, but Richard's down here, so I think we'll be okay. Plus, they ended up with a train penalty. Well, good. I mean, if that event had to happen, I'm kind of glad that it happened there. Alright, let's bring these other guys up to here. And these guys are relocating. I'm not sure why. Alright, now, hold on. The nobility of one of our provinces has been long divided over the War of the Roses, and now there are further nobles proclaiming the House of Lancaster. So we're going to get support for Lancaster for 10 years, local unrest plus 10, in 5 provinces. Alright, where is this support? Where was this support, exactly? Okay, like Lincoln. Support for House Lancaster. And yet, we s we have negative revolt risk because of, apparently, what's this national defense? Minus five. Is it because we're the defender in a war? Or am I technically the aggressor? I don't think I am. Yeah, I'm the defender against Austria. So I guess because we're a defender, we have an extra... This maybe make the whole War of the Roses really easy. Keep that thing going for a while, then. Do we want National Epic? I think yes. Considering how hard it seems to be to get prestige these days. So he was relocating to Cumbria, and then he marched to Marches. Okay. Makes sense. The effects of the Pragmatic Sanction. The Pragmatic Sanction, solemnly rendered by Emperor Charles VI in 1713. Why are we getting events about 1713 in the 14th century? Severs the indivisibility of the Habsburg patrimony and ruled or the order of succession by order of firstborn child, even to a woman. This made Maria Theresa, born in 1717, um, the heir of an empire. Do we want to make Austria like us and gain stability? Or make Austria dislike us and gain stability? I'm pro Habsburg. Oh yeah. I mean, even though we're at war, I mean, it's not your fault. We didn't ask to be in this. Neither of us wanted to fight each other. Of course, I think if they didn't, they'd like lose prestige or something. Georgia just became a vassal underneath Kara. So Kara, the Shias, have just vassalized the Orthodox Georgians. That'll be an interesting relationship. I wonder, can he force their religion? I think you can do that with um, heresy, but I don't know if he can do it with um, heretic religions. You need Diplomatic Technology 8 to build this building. Yes, well, we, we don't get any technology, so. War exhaustion in the form of plague and starvation is not the only is not only affecting the civilian population, but our armed forces as well. Oh, you know what I forgot? I forgot to actually cancel all the troops I was training. Yes. 
There's nothing we can do. Import food from abroad. Make less money, but we get more national unrest. Or England gets plundering soldiers for five years. Well, um... And I, again, I think that the gamey thing that you could do here would be to just train up troops, then lose the legitimacy. We're gonna just import food from abroad. And our naval force limit has gone up by one. Kind of strange that that's happened while we're at war. I wonder if it's because um, autonomy is still managing to tick down. I think it is, even while we're at war. Like these French provinces. Yeah, they're going down by 0.11 a month. It's pretty good. Imagine if we could actually go to peace. Alright, even though they're not worth very much, they're not very expensive. Um, I think I might mothball these transports. Okay, so, question is, do we wait for them to siege this, which is a fort? Why would they move to the fort? Oh, that actually makes sense, actually. They want to siege the fort and take all of the adjacent territory. So do, do we siege this, or do we just... Sorry, let them siege it and then wait till they get to the flatlands, or just go fight them? I'm leaning toward just go fight them. But we will do this thing. We're going to detach mercenaries, send the mercenaries first. I'm going to force the mercenaries into the center. So the smaller army is going to need to arrive one, two? One day early. So the smaller army arrives early and the river crossing should go away when Richard arrives and we'll have mercenaries in the front. The very front and center. Yep. Von Fersen's, Debane's, mercenaries. River Crossing is currently there, but as soon as the guy gets there, it's gone. So now Richard's going to fight Edward Lancaster, that dummy. And uh, hopefully our mercenaries take the brunt of the damage. We'll still lose some troops. The Ottomans have changed their capital. Apparently, uh, apparently they did that thing whole already. I feel bad for the Papal State, because Hungary and Austria are kind of kicking their butt. Negative 21 reasons for white peace. This fight is going um, remarkably close. Morale-wise, at least. Alright, so is it over? One of the following must be true. Haven't a regency council, or has an heir, or we're not a monarchy. So, it cannot end until we get an heir. Well, we should probably get some royal marriages then. They are subject of England, they cannot enter into a marital union. Well, who do we want to stay friends with? Hmm. Leinster, fabricate claims, go. Hmm. Well... It's not possible to integrate Leinster for 50 years because they're a personal union. Blah. It's actually kind of crappy. I was hoping that we could actually get someone with claims and then feed them. But now, like, the best bet would be to vassalize Connaught and then give them their stuff. If they have fabricated claims on the rest of Ireland. But that means we have two relationship slots tied up when we should really only have one. Oh well. It, it just, it kind of is what it is. Start improving relations with them. And we'll do it anyway. Lovegrad broke their alliance with Scotland. Okay. So, um, we're going to detach the mercenaries now. And I think we're going to disband them. Well, at the very least, we're going to consolidate them. And yeah, I'm going to mothball the, the forts because I don't think we need them. We'll keep these ones while we're at war with um, with Austria. Now you can destroy for you can destroy buildings. So if we wanted to, we could just completely get rid of them. But 
don't think we're going to do that. War score with you is um, it's all right. Most of it's coming from what's it called? The uh, ticking war score. Uh, Kara is now attacked. Uh, Akuyunlu, how dare they? Six more pretenders in Meath. Well, that's not exactly ideal. Hopefully we can get these trips across the, uh, the thing here pretty quick. I'd say, you know what, it's, I, can think, I can do it faster on my own. How dare they, indeed. All right, let's do this. We're gonna grab mercenaries. I'm gonna put the mercen the Richard in charge of the mercenaries. We're gonna march those across, and we'll march the cavalry across. That'll probably be enough. Oh God, what's happened now? The rotten swine in France have declared war upon us. Prepare, they cite reconquest. Well, Naples have honored their military alliance with Aragon. Aragon has honored their military alliance with France. Tuscany has honored their alliance with France. Portugal has honored their alliance. We have gained the dishonored call against the Papal State. Traitorous Papal State. Denmark has joined us. So, okay, well that suddenly makes the War of the Roses a bit more challenging. Hmm. I mean, we technically have more troops than they do, but getting them combined when we have zero manpower is going to be rather tricky. And we have no money, so we have a lot of problems right now. But let's focus on getting this thing done first. I think that eight, ten regiments or whatever it is should be good. All right, Carnal Sins. Could her lips be any redder? Doubtful. A 436 heir. Losing papal influence, but ending the War of the Roses, because we would have an heir. Fewer rebel-controlled rebel provinces than one. 436 is pretty good. Weak claim sucks, but yeah. Done. Um, end of the War of the Roses. So what happens if I click this one before this one? Place your bets. Gain 50 prestige. Oh my gosh, because of our mission, we're going to go straight to 3 prestige. Sweet! And uh, let's see if they still rebel in one more day. I think they will. What kind of rebellion they are, I really don't know. They are just... just says rebels. They're just rebels. Well, okay, so we're at war with France. We're going to want to unmoth the heavies. The transports should not be at sea while the French Navy's out there. Um, my Navy of light ships is probably at risk until we can kill the French Navy. So... Our legitimacy is going to be garbage when we actually die. Okay, um, the rise of a dynasty. With the battle finally, the final battle now won, the War of the Roses, as it will be, come to be known, is at an end. We must now decide how to proceed to strengthen our position at home and abroad, even though there are whispers of potential usurpers, including the return from exile of the ambitious Henry Tudor. It might be prudent, therefore, to reconcile our two houses in matrimony. Uh, this will never, there will never be reconciliation between our two dynasties, in which case we gain local unrest everywhere for five years. Our base unrest is very, very low, because we're technically still defending. We have tons of prestige, uh, tons of um, positive stability right now, which is really helping. Or we could take Henry Tudor, the 342, with a strong claim. The strong claim does seem pretty nice. Anne. Her name is just Anne. She's a 436. She's got 13 monarch points. He has 9. Am I willing to trade low legitimacy for 4 monarch points a month? 
I feel like Monarch Points a month is even more valuable as a stat now than it used to be, because you can always convert the Monarch Points into development. Where before, if you got too far ahead of time, you would just sometimes be like, well, I guess I just have nothing to spend points on, and I'll just go with you know, level 1 advisors just to save money, because there's no point. But now, you can always spend Monarch Points, always. And so it's like, I, I yeah, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna keep it. We're gonna do Rebellious People. We'll never do it. Papal State is pieced out. That's actually probably good for me. That means that they've lost their occupations. Alright, so... Mr. Frenchies. We're gonna need to first... Grab these guys, bring them over. Head to Wessex. The heavies, um, they're repaired enough. They weren't mothballed for very long. It's a fairly sizable 40,000 troops down there. Big part of it is Austria, though. My enthusiasm is apparently low, or medium. Okay, you should you should want to end this war eventually, right? How about you just stop being a jerk, huh? Alright, now that the heavies are moving, I feel like we can go ahead and let those ships start patrolling. There we go. Two, five, and three. Converge. Not the lights. Or not the transports. The transports need to drop their troops off before we let them fight. But yes, we're going to let them fight. They're going to be part of it. The lights should be able to make it over there pretty quick. I think that the, the heavies will be more than capable of holding off that. It's 7 on 2. I mean, that's a significant advantage when it comes to heavies. Plus, we're England. That's the thing I've always got to remember. we got 20% naval morale. I mean, we're, we're pretty solid when it comes to the navies. That's kind of like our thing. Despite the fact that he's got a leader, I think that... Uh, yeah, our heavies are barely taking any damage at all. They started at 65, a couple of them are down to like 50. Okay. Still, we're going to pile all the ships in. He's not going to be able to blockade, so that means that that siege will hold for quite a long time. We lost none ships, very good. We will... Allow the... He Let's let everyone repair for just a second. Unless, of course, these lights are fully ready to go, in which case they can protect trade. Now we've got to try to decide how are we going to fight 60,000 troops. It's going to be tough. He's actually cited the Reconquest CB of on Laborde, so he wants that. That's the war goal. Um, if I don't prevent him from taking that, the ticking war score is going to be a little bit problematic. Austria, would you please leave Portugal alone? They never they never hurt you. If I just say you're the bestest in the whole world, would you go away? I mean, I've got all this prestige that I don't really need. Hmm. Let's get another month of repairs in. Let's see, I mean, their capital's right here. We should just siege their capital. You think we can hop across the Straits of Dover before the end of the month? I wonder. End arrival will be June 1st. June 1st. June 1st no matter what, but I'm pretty sure that that does actually give us recovery. So, yeah, we're going to detach the mercenaries, put him in charge of the mercenaries. Then we're going to, we have nine transports, so we're going to... It might be a bit cavalry heavy for an initial force. Let's just send these guys over. 
I think Richard's actually... It's showing the stars there, but I'm pretty sure he's still technically on the army. Let's see if we get these repairs on the first. I think we will. 56%. Yeah, we did. Good. Alright. Um, you can just auto-move now. And we'll go start sieging Paris. Although, if he comes up here, it's not going to be good. Paris requires nine regiments. And it's farmlands. None of this terrain is any good. This is going to be really difficult. I mean, I could try moving into Orléans. Um... No, no, I, I really don't think that this is going to go very well. My only real option is pile as many troops on here as I can and see if uh, Tyrone has declared war on Connaught. Well, Connaught, I wanted to make my, my vassal, so... They would not accept this because I'm at war, even though you're going to die. Should have proclaimed their guarantee. Well, if we continue to improve relations with them, then eventually I can just enforce peace. Protect them. As long as they don't get, you know, killed completely. Let's make them into special interest. Oh, well, they already are. About 26,000 troops up here. I think the Palatinate is involved in a different war, though. I might need to just concede defeat to Austria. Otherwise, the war's going to take too long. Hey, at least we're looting Paris. That always feels nice. I don't know if we can win this. No leader. And a 0-0. Zero, zero. Okay. Well, if he's got no leader, we'll take that fight. Is zero, 0 with 3 siege. Should really be sieging the other thing. That's right. That's right, Frenchies. 2.26. Sweet. And we killed 5,000 cavalry. Wow. That's pretty good. Well, we're going to need more mercenaries. That is definitely going to have to happen. In fact, we're going to get 4 of them. I think despite the attrition, we're just going to have to pile on to uh, Paris. Putting more troops does help, because we get loot. I think they pay for themselves. Pretty likely. We're going to have to consolidate regiments. I just have zero manpower. So let's think. Um... The cost... No, they, they definitely pay for themselves. The loot that they gain, 0.1 ducats, they're not losing, like, a mercenary to recover, to, to reinforce. It's not going to cost... Well, damn, 0.53 ducats a month. Jesus. Seems like a lot. I don't know if mercenaries pay for themselves while sieging and attritioning, but regular infantry, I think, do. Maintenance of 0.13. So I guess they don't even... Well... That's how much they cost all the time. I guess what I'm what I'm trying to compare is the amount of money they bring in from loot versus the cost for reinforcing the men they lose for attrition. And I'm pretty sure that you do come out ahead in that deal. Having the mercenaries is just expensive. I mean, there's nothing to say about that really. Fifth, twenty-fourth. Okay, good. It's kind of unfortunate that we're going to suffer a siege tick every time we move around now, but that is unfortunately how it works. Okay. Well, we'll see. We'll see. I'm not sure how this war is going to go. He broke his siege of Laborde, which is fantastic. So, all right, I'm going to take a break here. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.